Get on up. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Happy holidays. It is Friday, November 25th. We are one month away from Christmas. So happy Black Friday if you're out doing some shopping. Be safe out there. I don't know. I can only imagine how many people got out uh, at midnight or earlier. Um, I know they start stuff earlier nowadays. I think I only did that maybe twice in my life with the, the whole Black Friday shopping. I don't care for it. Thank God for Cyber Monday. I think that is uh, terrific. One of the best things they could have invented <laughs> for, for uh, people like me who don't want to get out and about and, and get all with those crazy people. Uh, I have friends that, that live for that stuff, man. They'd love to do it. Not me. Not me. So I thought I'd make a video uh, today of, uh, you know, some cool gift ideas for guitarists. Um, uh, they're mainly just things that interest me, but I'm sure if uh, guitar players are watching, there, we, we already share a, a common interest, right? Um, I can say, man, for the past few months, I've gotten a few things that um, I'm very happy to have gotten. Uh, so uh, first is the uh, right here is, well, these two items right here, the, the Marshall Cab, I got that, I traded uh, my son, uh, JS100 model that I got uh, earlier this year. It's uh, black and I upgraded the Floyd on it and did some other upgrades and um, he uh, he really liked that guitar. He loved that guitar, and he had this uh, cabinet for sale on um, online. And uh, I said, uh, "How much would you sell it to me for?" Which I, you know, I didn't have the money to get it, but I was just wondering how much he would he would cut his old man and deal. You know, he said, well, "I'll tell you what I will do. I'll uh, if you want to trade that JS100, that black one, I'll uh, trade you even Steven with this cabinet." I said, "Sold." So I went ahead and uh, we traded. And um, I had my eye on um, that amp right there. That is the uh, the Paul Reed the Paul Reed Smith HDRX20 uh, Hendrix amp head. You know they modeled that amp head after Hendrix's uh, Marshall head from Woodstock, from what I understand. Um, so I was wanting to show you uh, a closer look of that. Um, Oh, and I've already got it uh, pulled up here, so we're going to share a screen. And uh, but yeah, it's a uh, it's. I was just like, they have a what, you know? So I wanted to uh, get into uh, look into it rather. And so let's see here. So there is the the amp. It's a uh, Sweetwater Asm. Uh, I don't know about any other online retailer that I haven't checked but $7.99 and right now uh, through December 31st they're offering a special 36 month financing for $23 a month I was able to qualify to the for the uh, two year financing at uh, $34 a month and um, I was very excited about this new edition because uh, I've never owned a PRS product never um, until now so this amp head it's a uh, to me it's the perfect size for what i need in here and um it's it's for a 20 watt head it's loud i mean it can really get up there so uh let's see if we can take a couple of uh closer looks here uh we will uh there's the front view pretty cool um yeah we got uh you know you're uh EQs and everything right here your master volume and there's and you can see that little metal switch that's like a uh, what is that a bright like a, it gives you more overdrive or something and uh, we can't really see can't really tell right now let's see if we can find another better picture here we go okay here we go now we got a presence bass middle treble there you go it, that's the high uh, mid gain is what that is and then your bright over there so of course I have both of those in the own position and of course the master volume treble volume bass volume and your input now one thing to keep in mind that I did not um, I didn't I didn't know because uh, I just you know I figured it would come with it but it doesn't this amp 
does not have an effects loop and it doesn't have a line out which I really I understand this is modeled after Hendrix's amp from Woodstock in 1969 so they didn't have that back then so to my knowledge they didn't have effects loops and line outs and all that so you have your different speaker jacks back here uh, and of course I, I ordered a uh, another uh, cable going from the amp head to the cabinet you have to have a 12 gauge cable and right there where it says uh, 16 ohms right there I uh, come out of that into the speaker and then you got these bias jacks here uh, and then your fuse and then your uh, your uh, your input power for uh, you know going into the to the wall and um, but I will tell you this amp uh, the way I have mine fixed up uh, it took a little messing around but um, I was really shocked at how well this sounds to begin with number one and the way I have my stuff uh, currently um, now also you know Hendrix really didn't when you go into this with nothing because you got to put your you got to put your delays and stuff in the front of the amp so you have to dial that stuff back a, a, a lot so it doesn't have the uh, horrendous distorted uh, delay trail right <laughs> so um, you just have to keep that in mind and 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 it can be it can be done I mean, it's, it can be done very, very easily. You just have to uh, mess with it a little bit. And uh, so what I did with mine, I got, uh, you can't tell, of course, but I got another pedal board in front of the cabinet there. It's got six pedals uh, and then an EVH Y on the floor. And then also I have another Zoom G1X4 on that board as well. Let me explain. I kind of have three options with this setup. I can uh, I put the Zoom G1X4 in bypass mode, so it's just not doing anything. And I can play just straight with the amp. And you, man, Paul Reed Smith nailed that Hendrix tone. I mean, you can sit there and do your uh, "Wind Cries Mary" or all that stuff, you know. And it's it's dead on. It's amazing. And also, I got uh, you can't really tell, but right there, I bought an uh, attenuator. All right, never had one of those in my life, and um, I didn't even know what it was till I did some research, and I said, "Oh, that's what that does," you know. And uh, so now I can I can jack up this amp. Uh, for those of you who don't know what an attenuator is, it's kind of like a really it's like a variac, like what Eddie Van Halen came up with when he put it together all those years ago. So you can crank up the master volume on this amp to whatever you want, uh, half or all the way, and then your attenuator attenuator rather is your is your volume knob so you get the full effect of the tubes after it's warmed up and um yeah man it's it's great um that's a, another thing i bought from sweetwater the attenuator and you have to buy another cable 12 gauge cable because you got to come uh, uh from out of this into the, your, your head and then into the cabinet or from the cabinet into the attenuator it's it's very self-explanatory when you look at the back of it but one of the best things is it doesn't require any kind of you don't have to plug it in no power you don't you ain't gotta worry about another uh extension cord or whatever you know <laughs> so uh anyway so i can play straight through that amp head and you, you feel like you're jamming with jimmy at woodstock right um, but even jimmy used fuzz boxes and you know uh Y pedals he you know he had to dirty up his tone a little bit you know to, it wasn't clean all the time so I also decided to get the uh, Soldano uh, overdrive pedal that just came out uh, so that's on that board as well so I can I can use the, the Zoom G1X4 uh, if I want to use a, a little bit of a distorted tone on the uh, preset I have dialed in on that effects processor and going in through that it sounds really good I was like man that sounds good and um uh, or i can like i said put the zoom in bypass mode and just use the uh soldano pedal which sounds amazing and um for a more of a heavier sound you know so i have like three different options there and it's a uh, it's incredible it's uh this this amp uh takes that stuff very well you know the pedal board and the, the zoom and on it, it it takes it very well i was you know i was shocked like i said i, I got a I have uh, two delay pedals on there, and I have a reverb, and I had to 
you know, dial those, the feedback level on those back. Um, pretty good, but it works, you know, it works. So, cause like I said, back in the day, that's what they did with delays. You know, when they finally started using those, especially in uh, studios and stuff, you know, they didn't have effects loops. So, um, but it works, man. So that's a great gift idea if, if you know, or even for yourself, you know, uh, if you're a Hendrix fan, like me, I love Hendrix, and of course, Eddie Van Halen, um, if you can tell, all these Wolfgang standards behind me here, but, uh, and that's a, that's a 5150 head, and that's the Boss Katana 100 white head, my wife got me about four years ago for Christmas, so, but this, this setup right here, that is the perfect, uh, setup to do a live gig, I mean, it is, the head is not that heavy, um, 20 watt, I said, oh my god, that's, it's, man, I'm telling you, that thing will thump, I was so shocked at how well it, it, it handles, I just couldn't believe it, and so that's, to me, I think that's a great gift idea, you know, and it's, uh, for a Hendrix modeled amp for $7.99, shoot, are you kidding, that's amazing, so, uh, I thought that was great, <laughs> so, um, let's see what else so oh yeah so of course with uh great gift ideas for guitar players you gotta look at guitars right and of course you know you got your you know guitars of the very top of my list and then you have accessories tuners strings um a great place to get uh stuff to work on guitars is uh, uh amazon and stumac i have the uh music nomad uh guitar kit that um, I ordered uh, from Amazon my son uh, he has one and uh, he said anything you need to do with the guitar dad you need this little this little tool kit it'll handle anything you know far as uh, tightening stuff up or whatever you need to do make it adjustments it, it doesn't matter and uh, sure enough you know there's been there's been times I've tried to use like a regular Phillips head to adjust like the, the bear claw on the back of the cavity to with the Floyd Rose and I It'd be the screws would be really tight, and I was like, man, I can't seem to get it to move. I use that Music Nomad, get one of the the ends, the Phillip ends, you know, put it on there, and it's perfect every time, and it does the job. I was like, wow. So the Music uh, Nomad uh, guitar uh, toolkit is amazing, and uh, that's it's great. I'll see if I can put a link for that in the description as well, because um, and, they're, and it's not real expensive either. It's it's uh, that that's like having gold in a little box man i mean when you got to work on your guitar it's it's amazing so stuff like that is you know i'm always working on guitars here i'm always uh i went and uh ah, this way right here that is a uh, evh wolfgang standard uh that i've had for i know a couple of years and it's been in the case back here packed away and uh, i put these on the wall hanger the other day and i was looking at the saddles and I can say those weren't quite intonated right. They're not, you know, they're not quite right. And it was just that's how it was from the factory. So uh, I uh, took that off the wall, cut the strings off, and uh, went ahead and made my adjustments and had to do some more. I got the Music Nomad toolkit and I made some adjustments in the bear claw back there. Put three brand new light duty gauge string, uh, str not strings, springs. From Effie Tone, uh, the yellow or the light duty, and all the other ones he has are the, I guess, heavy duty. You know, the more has more tension. I don't like the real tight uh, tension on uh, the springs. I like the light duty springs. Uh, for me, and you can get those at Effie Tone for the kind I like. I, they're about uh, I don't know, 24 bucks. It's under 30 dollars. And I put some of those in there and. Um, like I said, uh, new strings, uh, treated the fretboard and everything else, and it's it's uh, made my adjustments, and it's I'm like wow, you know, it was incredible the difference that that makes. But uh, about guitars, you know, since it's the holiday season, uh, let me see if we can share something else here because I think uh, you would be interested in this. I know I'm looking right at the camera and it looks kind of weird. Uh, well, speaking of the the Hendrix head, I was I do a lot of 
browsing and shopping on reverb like I'm sure any other guitar player does. Um, so I, was, I got the Hendrix head and I said, man, I would love to have this right here. And this, of course, is the uh, Hendrix uh, 2018 in ultraviolet, which, you know, really, you want to call it purple. Um, and uh, I've been looking for these. Uh, you can I found a couple on reverb this is one this one in particular uh, 949 with $55 shipping they this was a limited color that they made on these guitars um, when Fender brought these out I do have one of these uh, it's in white which is an amazing guitar this is in uh, fantastic shape I just love to have one that was in that color and uh, I thought they would be out for quite some time but they just made a limited run and then they I think they were out for a, a year maybe two uh, don't quote me on that but I know at least a year and then man they were gone and you see the authentic authentic Hendrix neck plate on the back and uh, yeah those are those are amazing I remember when uh, Fender first come out with these Hendrix uh, guitars years and years ago and boy the Hendrix estate jumped on Fender and they had to stop uh, they they couldn't make them no more uh, but this guitar is just gorgeous I just I think it's amazing it would just be cool to, to have that color you know that would be awesome <laughs> that's so awesome man uh, but yeah anyway man that is something to think about uh if you're a hendrix fan you can check that out uh just get on reverb and type in ultraviolet hendrix strat and i think there's that one and there's another one the other one i want to say is from uh, norm's rare guitars but they want a little over a thousand when i got my hendrix strat um uh, 2018 it was oh man it was like uh I think it cost as much as the the amp head did. I think it was like seven ninety nine or eight ninety nine. It was one of those. Now I've looked those up recently for you know a brand new. Uh, the only color they have now that I've seen is the the white Olympic white, like the one I have, and then the sunburst. I want to say they go for like a thousand ninety nine now. So those have jumped over the past few years. They've jumped a lot. Um, so let's see. Uh, like I said, I love to browse on reverb and I love to look at things and I'll put them in my watch list just to see if anybody nabs it up, you know, and, uh, that's <laughs> the one, the one cool thing that when you're trying to fall asleep, you know, you'll sit there and uh, say, Hmm, um, that looks really cool. I wonder if I can get that, you know, <laughs> here's one right here that I've really been watching. So I'm going to share it with y'all. If you're an Ibanez fan, here is an Ibanez RG550, RG570. That's because the body, I think, is the one and the neck is the other. And it's uh, got the purple neon green DiMarzio 1989. It's made in Japan, so you already know it's great quality. Uh, these guitars hold their value, resale value, I should say. Um, and I've, was, <laughs> I've been looking at this now. You can see where the seller had it for 1250 and he did I, I mean that's not just a, a clickbait thing I I'm, when I first saw this guitar it was 1250 and he dropped it 250 bucks I said man it's still sitting up there uh, and you can see it's sitting on top of an Ibanez hard shell case but on the description he says it'll be shipped inside of a padded gig bag and I was like what so uh, I did make an offer on this and the guy he turned it down he actually countered offer counter offered and i said nah you know he only came down 50 bucks which you know it's not personal man it's it's business and uh but look at that guitar isn't that i mean that just screams steve vi to me i just i love the the green with the mirror pit guard and the purple knobs and the pickups he's got satriani pickups in there and uh, he's got purple tuning keys at the top i want to say there's a few more images we can we can share with you. It's a gorgeous guitar. There you go. That that just looks awesome right there. 1989 Ibanez. So that's a that is not a uh, reproduction model. My son 
Uh, I had one just like this, except it's yellow. Um, of course, with you know, bl every, the pickups and all are black, and except for the humbucker, there's a Demarzio in there, a yellow one. And I gave it to my son uh, a couple of years ago, and it's, uh, it's still a great playing guitar. But yeah, this is a. He's got some kind of quick access door on the back there that he had in the description. I'm not quite sure what that's for. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, not quite sure. But yeah, that is just gorgeous guitar, man. Can't really see the serial number too well. It's faded, but there we go. There we go. He's got a better, a better. Uh, yeah, he says in the description that um, the body and the neck are, you know, he put those together. They, it wasn't, it didn't come like this. So that is a bad, bad playing machine right there. That just looks really good. So I can understand him wanting to uh, stay pretty firm on the price. It's still not a bad price, but I was just like, yeah, man, I don't know. That's, that's a little a little much for me you know i said nah i don't think so man so but it, it i'm surprised it's still listed for sale i'm surprised somebody hasn't grabbed it to tell you the truth um because i love ibanez guitars man uh, these are those are wonderful guitars i got quite a few but uh right here i had my eye on this and um i thought this was very very awesome i've never uh played or I think I've seen him at Guitar Center, but I've never played a uh, Squire Classic Vibe. And I've always heard that those are excellent guitars. Uh, the quality is right up there with a, uh, you know, with a, a Fender, you know, American Strat or whatever. I mean, that's, I heard Philip McKnight say that about how the quality was so amazingly good. And so I had my eye on this one. And this was a this is a 60th anniversary Strat um, cl uh, Classic Vibe uh, Squire and Shoreline Gold, and I said, "Oh my God, that is so gorgeous, man!" And I've got the uh, I've got the uh, John Five Squire and and Gold. You know, I got that that color. So I said, "Man." And I kept looking at this and looking at it, and he said, I said, hmm, $550 with $85 shipping. And w one of the things that he has in the, um, the, the, you know, the incentives, if you will, is that he is shipping it in a hard shell case. And I'm like, that is just amazing. I've sold a few guitars online, and I, I always sold them with a hard shell case. I think that is a fantastic incentive, man. I mean, you know, look at that. That's, that is just gorgeous, man. Yeah, 2014. There you go. The neck plate, 60th anniversary, 1954 to 2000. That's awesome, man. That is awesome. Excellent shape, man. It looks phenomenal to be a 2014 model. So I um, I made an offer on this, and he accepted. And it was a I, – I lowballed it. You know, not real, real low, but I lowballed it. I, I just said, no, nah, there's no way he's going to take it. And he took it. So uh, I was like, heck yeah. <laughs> so uh, Merry Christmas to me, right? So that'll be coming, uh, uh, I guess, within the next um, week, I reckon, after all this crazy stuff gets out of the way. Uh, but it does come with a hard shell case, so that's uh, saving money right there. I don't have to worry about getting another case. I did get a hard shell case from Guitar Center recently. Um, I will show you the cases that I usually buy. Um, these, sometimes, sometimes you can find these um, for 89 bucks a piece. I've, I've seen them because I bought them for that. Uh, now they're 99. Uh, the other day, these same cases were like 109. So they've came down 10 bucks. But these are the standard cases that I usually buy. They're uh, the Gator. Uh, GWE electric hard shell uh, case. It's just pretty standard, but uh, they're great quality, man. For a hundred bucks, I mean, you can't beat it. Uh, I love them. 
and you know you open it up it's got the black plush material and you got the door right there and you can open and put all your you know your straps and your allen wrenches whatever picks tuner whatever you want these are great cases man and this is a you know um i've got so many gig bags uh, that i am trying to phase that out um and I have a little here and there. It's going to take. It's going to take some more time, because um, I, I would just like to have everything in hard shell cases. I mean, you just. Uh, I mean, more cases do I need to get to make that mission complete? Oh my God! Uh, probably just off the top of my head, probably ten. I would say. Yeah, uh, at least at least ten. At least. Um, so if you go back to the the uh, gold uh, Fender or the Squire Classic Vibe, um, there is a piece I'm, uh, of hardware I'm going to upgrade on there. Actually, a, a couple. Um, but this picture, they, they have a small picture online, so I can't I apologize for the small uh, dimensions of this photo that you're about to see. Um, but I know how well this piece of um, gear, if you will, uh, this upgrade piece of hardware rather, uh, works. And this is a uh, Babix, B A B I C Z, full contact hardware, full contact, it says it twice, uh, six point tremolo. Uh, Z series and gold. So I'm going to put this on the uh, Squire Classic Vibe. Um, they only have one image on here. So, uh, but yeah, this this right here is this unit. I already own one of these, but it's in uh, you know chrome, and I put it on another Fender Strat. And you have to make sure, you know, uh, that the guitar that when it says six points, you know, you see the of course the uh, the six holes right there. Uh, so you can install it. Uh, my Strat that I put the other Babix um, tremolo unit on, it was a, what they call a two-point. It only had two screws uh, in the front, as opposed to this has six. So I went ahead and made an offer on this, actually. Um, it's a great price right now, and of course the gold would just really, just, it's already got gold, the Fender-type Floyd, well, not Floyd, I'm sorry, the Fender tremolo style, uh, on there and we all know that those don't do nothing but these these little uh, tremolo units here by Babix I mean it's just I was really shocked at how well it holds its tuning and they're pre-intonated um, for the most part I had to uh, when I bought mine a couple months ago uh, in September I, um, I put it on my uh, one of my Fender Strats that's, that's nicknamed Nana Pudding and I had to intonate the G string just ever so slightly. And uh, I was just so shocked at the way that that the uh, it holds its tuning without a locking nut. You know, of course, if you go crazy with it, yeah, you're gonna have to, I mean, that's with anything, but just to do just normal tremolo stuff. And, you know, I, I do know if you set up a, a, a Fender tremolo, if you set it up, I, that's what I've seen online. If you know how to set one up, whatever, it holds its tuning pretty good. But this thing here is you just pop the old one out and, and you put this new system in, and uh, you know, and it's uh, and, and it has a big block on it, too. That's the one thing that I was really impressed with. I was like, wow, man, that's uh, that's amazing because it, it really that having a, a big block on your. The tremolo system does help with the uh, tone and the sound. I, I uh, three or four years ago when I heard that, I was like, "No, nah, man, that." Not. But it does, and it, it made a believer out of me. It really did. So I made an offer on that unit. That that's already a great price on that Babix uh, tremolo unit for uh, Fender Strats. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm getting uh, emails from uh, <laughs> from American Musical Supply and uh, all you know, uh, Sweetwater and everything else. You know, 
jump jump in here now and take advantage of these Black Friday savings, you know. So, but anyway, I just wanted to share some of that with you. Um, I think these are great gift ideas if if uh, you want to get that special person in your life one of these items or even for yourself i mean you know it's it's always fun getting new toys with guitar stuff it's it's a blast man it's a a lot of fun i love it and uh, because it's it's it keeps things fresh it's always something new so okay thank y'all for watching i really appreciate it hope you have a wonderful day until next time be cool on your stool man and keep rocking this is joe for the joe Wentz project we will see you later bye-bye